Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Battle of the Bangers Season 3. I'm your host, my name is Tyler, and of course, I'm joined by the boys. We have Brennan. What's going on, folks? And we have Kyle. Nah, how's it going, guys? No knees in sight today. You don't get a look at those today. <laughs> oh, all dang. Nope. Well, what a shame. You got to go to Kyle's OnlyFans uh, to get that. Put the link up on screen. <laughs> you can check that out is... Kyle's big boy knees. They're they're knees, succulent knees. and and sweet and juicy. Just I like you on. <laughs> the wettest knees, knees in all the land. <laughs> Kyle Steinley. <laughs> I, I, I Kyle refer to the page as my gentlemen. only knees. I, I don't refer wow. to it as my only fans. It's just only my only knees. knees. Yeah. We're going to not talk about this anymore because we have to talk about some Dance Gavin dance songs. Specifically, sure. today, Swan Soup versus Night Sway in the battle of the least streamed Dance Gavin dance singles. If you want to see the full explanation of how these are the lowest streamed, um, go check out episode one. I'm just going to keep plugging that because if you're coming in here with no context, this list makes no sense. Uh, <laughs> but yes, today we're talking about Swan Soup versus Night Sway, probably definitely the tightest matchup we've had so far. Um, I actually genuinely don't know which song I think is better between the two and I'm the host, so I'm just going to go last. Uh, who would like to go first? I normally force it upon Brennan, but Kyle, you look extra uncomfy uh, right now and I uh, kind of am tempted to push it on you. Give it oh. to Kyle. <laughs> I don't love that. I guess you're going uh, yeah. first. Uh, all right. Well, this is awkward for me. This the, this matchup because I really don't come back to Swan Soup like very often at all. Like in general, I don't I don't dive back there. Um, and then it's against a song that I actively like use as an example as a bad Tillian era song <laughs> in Night Sway. Uh, and, you know, on re-listening to these, preparing for this, I uh, will say I like both of these songs a good bit, if I'm being honest with you. I think they both have very high highs um, in a lot of it. I think uh, as far as Swan Soup goes, there's definitely a lot of like fantastic guitar parts all throughout it, especially closer to the the latter half of the song. Um, I think it really takes you in a lot of different places. Kind of cool that it's named Swan Soup and it has like these really awesome tasty guitar licks like just like fucking layered throughout that song. Really fucking good. Um, and then Night Sway. Uh, I regret ever saying bad things about Night Sway. Uh, I think Night Sway is pretty fucking tasty. Uh, I think that some of the fucking the, the, the vocals and the chorus fucking pound. I think that that really fucking like aggressive guitar part that like keeps coming back throughout the song. I. Uh, on first listens, definitely didn't love, but on coming back to it, especially in the context of the full album, I feel like it's a really cool, like more punch, punchy in the face moment on that album um, that I really, I really appreciate. Um, I think both these songs are really fucking good, though. Um, if I'm being honest with you, I think what I'm going to have to come down to when I look at these two songs at the end of the day is the fact that I really enjoy Tillian's vocals more in general. I think both these songs are constructed really well. I think objectively they're both good songs. Uh, personally, though, I'd, I'd fucking lean Night's Way just because of the fucking the vocals, I think, are better. Over, as, uh, as, like, simple as that is, um, I feel like it's really neck and neck objectively otherwise, and I really don't know. I could probably sit here for a very long time trying to objectively go back and forth, but uh, I think my gut is leaning towards the fact that I would come back to Night's Way more often than Swan Soup. So, fair enough. Fair, fair yeah. enough. Brennan, that's, that's it for me, baby. <sighs> this one's tough. Um, I can see why both of these are towards the bottom of you know the most listened to tracks on each album. Um, I feel like both albums, albeit. I'm still not super big on Afterburner. I like it, but I feel like there's other DGD, especially Tillion Air albums that eclipse it. But that being said, there's a lot of better tracks than it, you know, than Night Sway on Afterburner. Um, personally, for me, I mean, both of them are pretty, like, delicious guitar licks, you know. Of course, Swan Suit being, like, ironically named because... You know, Will Swan just kind of goes off <laughs> in certain sections of it. But I feel like the Johnny Craig uh, vocal performance in this track isn't 
really up to par with a lot of the rest of the record. Like, you know, Pounce, Bounce, Spooks, Throw Up With Human Hair, Part Two and a Half, you know, obviously Blue Dream. Like, that, like there's so many other tracks on this record where he just does, like, way better, in my opinion. And, of course, like, you can say similar things about Tillian and Night Sway. Like, I mean, even parts that might not necessarily be better, like, looking at you, Parallels, like... Yikes. They, they're, they're, like, there's, <laughs> there's tracks where, like, even though, like, some shit doesn't land, it's, like, he's still, like, trying different things, while, like, Night Sway, to me, kind of feels like like a half-assed effort but then there's some really good instrumentals like in the background and like johnny mass kind of picks up some slack so it's like e this one this one's tough but for me it's not because there's like a clearly like superior song i just see like both of them wallowing in mediocrity like equally <laughs> um it's honestly a really good way to describe it. They're both like <laughs> just good dance cavity songs. There's nothing yes. fantastic. They're both just like you did your thing really well. I really you just did it well. And it's uh, cool. so. Yeah, because like after Burner, you got like Parody Catharsis, Strawberries Wake, fucking One in a even Calentamiento Global. Like those songs yeah. just dunk on Night Sway. <laughs> and like same thing with Swan Soup on DBM2. But in a head to head matchup. In, mo- in most circumstances, and I even said this in the last episode, I will take a Atillion not on his game compared to the other two vocalists that this band has had. So my vote has to go Night's Way, even though I do really enjoy parts of Swan Soup. That means I don't have to vote, right? <laughs> no, I mean, you still should vote. It just doesn't uh, matter. Yeah. That's true. Well, no pressure then. I, I yeah. actually still don't know which one I would have picked. Because um, here's the thing, and I admitted this in the in the lead up to recording this. I definitely was thinking that Night Sway was a completely different song on <laughs> on the album uh, than it was. Because um, there are a few tracks on fucking Afterburner that are not the best. You know, and I think we kind of mentioned that before, like, like, say hi parallels, I think, are probably objectively worse probably, than yeah. Night's Way. I don't remember if that goes along with our ranking of the songs because we did that like two plus years ago. Yeah. But like, yeah, uh, but as far as it stands right now, I would say that like it's it's not the worst song in the album. And Swan Soup is like, like you guys said, like, it's not there's nothing bad about it. But again, it is not like like there are better songs on the album that it's on. So it's like I get why it's the least streamed song on that album. So like it is it is very much like I wouldn't say that these songs are like complete mediocrity, but I would definitely say that they are not the best or worst experiences. Like they are very much just like they are good, Mediocre. <laughs> but they are not like great. Um, I mean, I guess like to be different, I probably, w- I probably would have gone with Swan Soup just because like, I like Johnny Craig's voice in that entire album. And even if it's not, uh, the best rendition of it, uh, I do still think that he has some cool vocal parts in it. I will say like, Night's Way is at least like more focused than, than Swan Soup, I think in a way. Or a swan soup is kind of like more open ended. Like there's a lot more. It's it's less cohesive, I guess, of an experience overall. You know, kind of like uh, how we talked about self self trepanation. How we said that it wasn't like. I mean, Brennan was talking about how it was like a fucking cacophony of bullshit, which is not <laughs> entirely true. But like, I guess I, I guess think I'm it's kind true. Of, <laughs> if, I, if I'm gonna compare this fight to the last fight, I would say like. Swan Soup kind of rides in that territory, whereas Night Sway is like a lot more structured. But I don't know if that makes it like more interesting or not. I'm just, you know what? I'm not gonna vote because I don't have to. So I'm just gonna let my opinion be a mystery. <laughs> oh, it's tied for me. I genuinely don't know, and I'm glad that I don't have to pick. So Swan, uh, fucking Night Sway is is moving on to the semifinals without my help, and I'm very happy about it. Congratulations. Uh, Night's Way. 
I think, yeah, that means that there is no Johnny Craig uh, in the semifinals. Both okay. of his songs have been just cut off at the knees. Wow. Very sorry. <laughs> very, very, very sorry. Uh, Shucks. Sorry, Johnny. Um, is how I, will say, I will say, I did some research, guys. Yeah. If you're curious, Night's Way was the bottom of our ranking. Wow. Burner. Yes. I don't think I would have gone that route. Wow. Uh, Same. If we were to redo it now, I would I would have put yeah. it at least over say high in parallels i think as same as as well as when i it went uh, night's way at the bottom say high parallels and then three wishes right above that which is interesting mm. to me i i, like I remember it, not uh, being happy that three wishes was that low but i did not want to fight for it that's fair i'd fight I remember, for it harder now i, I would also not, fight for it harder yeah I, I think i was definitely the driving force because i am i mean even to this day i'm not super high on three wishes i mean it, it's a it's a decent song like it's not bad but like i've always liked it more uh, than most people i'll admit enough. it but i like it more and more listens maybe you know, maybe like, one day we should revisit it like before we this might have comes to out. we might have to and if you want to see us do that Make sure you subscribe to the Talks Lot Boys and ringle dingle the bell so that you get notified if and when that happens. And you'll definitely be notified when the uh, next episode of this series comes out, which will be the last uh, preliminary round of the least streamed DGD uh, Battle of Bangers, which will be reprogramming, mental pre-programming, and slouch. What a mismatch of, <laughs> of music. It's going to be another fast uh... one, and we hope you join us for it. Um, as always, please like this video if you enjoyed it because it really does help out a lot. And make sure you comment below on which song you think is better between the ones that we discussed today. Um, that's going to do it for us for now. So until next time, we have been the Talks Lot Boys, and we will talk a whole lot more next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>